Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, January 27th at 10 a.m., and I'm on here a little bit early. If you were watching last time, I told you guys I was going to come on at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> so hopefully you guys remembered, and I see a couple of you guys on here, so hopefully everybody else will remember in the next couple of minutes and get on here. And uh, we are going to make a ton of cards today. So I've got 11 cards. We'll see how it's going. If um, it looks like I'm not going to finish, we'll do part two on Tuesday. So um, we're, we, we're going to just try and get them all done today. But I'm going to show you step by step how to make them all. And uh, so if you have this paper pumpkin kit, it's this one right here that came um, last month. And if you have it and haven't made it yet, go ahead and grab it. The only thing that you need extra is some white cardstock and a balmy blue ink pad, some linen thread, and some of this gold uh, ribbon. That's the only thing that I added was the white cardstock, um, that ink pad, the balmy blue ink pad, and the two ribbons, the linen thread and the gold. And if you don't have those, just substitute something else. So, um, oh, good. Everybody's remembering now. Come on. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> Say hello. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, hey, Carol. Hey, Sherry. Your favorite paper pumpkin. I know this is an awesome, awesome one. Um, you set your timer. <laughs> hey, Diane. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Mary. Hey, Ware. Hey, Heather. Hey, Reva. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Cindy. Good morning. And everyone from Washington, 7 a.m. Having your coffee. Wow. Early, early for you. I didn't even get up till 8 o'clock. <laughs> um, hey, Bobby from Alexandria. Carol, you set your alarm too. I'm glad you guys set your alarm because uh, I had to set my alarm just to get up. <laughs> Because normally on Saturday, I sleep in a little bit, but uh, I just wanted to get up early and do this. Let's see. Hey, Patricia. Hey, Laura. Hey, Sharon. Come on in. Good morning. 9 a.m. in Minnesota. Stella in Surprise, Arizona. Hey, Deborah. All right, we've got a good little crowd coming on. Good morning, good morning, everybody. All right, so this is basically what the kit makes, is nine of these cards. You get three of each card, um, and then you get a box to put them in, a little belly band, and then you can stick them in here. I only stuck three cards in here. I don't know how many. You could probably fit four cards, but I don't know about the envelopes, too. Um, it'd be a little squished if you put more than three or four cards in there. So these boxes we had in the catalog, but I don't think we carry them anymore, so... I don't know, but we're going to make the box. We're going to make the cards that come in the kit, the three cards that come in the kit, and then I made eight more different ones, so we're going to make all those. I'm going to cut them. Usually, I cut everything ahead of time, but I'm going to cut it with you so you know like exactly how to cut everything. So when you get your paper pumpkin kit, it looks like this, except it's all nice wrapped in tissue paper and stuff, so you get a stamp set. You get a little um, stampin' spot and you get the kit. And the kit comes with everything else that you need. So you get the envelopes, the cards, um, some sticky strips, some gems, some dimensionals, um, all sorts of stuff. And then all the little pieces that you need. So we're gonna open that up. I'm gonna leave this hole just for now and open another one up. So this is what you're gonna make. And it's so cute. All right, so this one, we're going to open it up and take it out so you can see exactly what's in here. So you get the directions like this, and it shows you like step-by-step step how to make them, and then a picture of each one. So you're going to make three of each of those if you do the kit exactly the way it is, but we're not going to do that. So this is all that comes in the kit, so it's a ton of stuff. And then they also show you a few little alternative ones. And then um, you can also watch a video of how to put them together. And they show you some extra ones too on the video. 
So those are the directions. We don't really need those because I already have made them. Um, and then you get, I turn this upside down. Okay. All right. The sticky strip. I don't, I'm not going to use the sticky strip because I just have glue. So we're not going to use that right now. You get these gorgeous gems that are not available anywhere else. So we're going to use these. And these are so cute. And they are balmy blue. It's hard to tell unless you put them in front of white. And did I just freeze up on you guys? I just looked at the screen and it was frozen. So hopefully I didn't freeze up on you guys. So I'm going to set the rest of these aside because we only need two for the cards we're making. And then... We've got all of these pieces, and there's other stuff stuck in here too. So you get three of these, you get three of these, get all this extra junk out of the way, and three of these. And so what I did, I kept these whole, so we're just gonna have these whole, and then I cut these in half, but we're not gonna cut all of them in half, I'm just gonna cut some of them in half. And then you get all of these, and I like to pop these out ahead of time, just so they're ready to go. So you've got all your pieces. So you get two of each of these. Well, actually, you get four of these, and you get four of these. So we've got those, and then you get four of these. So I'll pop those out. So I like to get everything all ready. And then we're gonna use a couple of these and throw this away. Then you get your box. So this is the box that we, I just showed you with the belly band, we're gonna use that. And then you get these little stickers. So you've got the little um, gold ones. And then you've got three sheets of the flowers. So we've got three of these. So you can go ahead and pop these out if you want to. Um, I'll do that in a little bit. All right, so oh, one thing I wanna show you first before we get started. So don't forget, it is celebration still. And how did I get so crooked? There we go, let's straighten that up a little bit. Oh, look, everybody's coming on now. Hey, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Just rolled out of bed. <laughs> Working in the yard, set my alarm, so this is a nice break. What time is it there, Laura? If you've already been out working in the yard, it's only 10 o'clock. Oh, I froze for a second, okay. Now, okay. Well, let me tell you guys, so, um, yesterday, it's January, yesterday was 77 degrees in Chesapeake, Virginia, which is insane. <laughs> it went from like 30 to 77. So, yesterday was super hot, and I was at work all day, but, um, we were suffocating at work because, you know, they have the heat on. We couldn't get the air conditioning to come on. So we're like dying. It was so hot in there. And what killed me was all these people walking in with winter coats on. Now, if I had had my choice, I would have been in shorts and a tank top because it was so hot. But these people just kept walking in and uh, they were all in winter clothes, winter coats, hats. And I'm thinking to myself, it's almost 80 degrees outside and you're wearing winter clothes. You got to be crazy. It's, I don't know. I don't understand that. Just because it's January, you can wear winter clothes and not, not see if it's hot outside. So, <laughs> all right. Anyway, so if you um, shop from now to the end of the month and use the host code, you're going to get this gorgeous card kit from me. And um, I just love these cards. These are like some of my favorite cards I've ever made. They're just so pretty. Um, and then also, if your order's over $100, you'll get the gems to go with it. So that is an awesome, awesome kit. So that is with the host code through the end of the month. And you also get free celebration items for every $50 you order from here. So lots of good stuff in here, including my favorite paper, this one. And then we've also got the starter kit special, which is amazing. You can get the free glass mat kit or an extra $30 free product. Um, and that's for $99. You get $125 plus either one of those two gifts and no um, shipping charge. So free shipping. And then if you have an order of $300 or more, you'll get six free celebration sets and an extra $30 in host rewards. So that's $66 for free with your order. 
And also, if you're not a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, or even if you are, this is a great time to start a Paper Pumpkin subscription because if you get the three month um, subscription, I'm still crooked on here. Um, you get, it's like $60, I think, $63, something like that. You get a free celebration item for a three-month subscription. And these kits right here, the whole kit's not available anymore, but the refill is. So the refill is everything you need except the stamp set, but you can substitute any words of your choice. So, um, and I think most of you guys probably have the ink pad. So, um, just get the refill kit, but the refill kit's only available if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. So, good deal on that. So, let's get started. I don't have any happy mail, so that's okay. <laughs> it's kind of sad when I go to the mailbox and there's only, only bills. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do first is, I've already cut the white paper in half. So, just take your five sheets of white cardstock, cut it in half at five and a half. So you got that ready to go. And then we're gonna take these and cut these in half. So you get your paper trimmer. And the easiest thing to do, and I'm not cutting these in half because they just have a plain back, but when they have the backs that are also gorgeous, I hate to waste that because if you just make a card like that, you don't really look at the back. So let's cut those in half and then we stack them on top of the, the white paper. So go ahead and cut it at five and a quarter. I don't know if you can see that. I always use my paper cutter upside down. So I'm at five and a quarter. Cut that off and you can throw that away. And then you want to cut these at four inches so that they'll be like a card front. So four inches and four inches. So I'm gonna do that with most of them. I don't know if I can cut two at a time. We'll see, let's let's see if we can do two at a time to save some time. Oops. And make sure you're cutting this. You don't wanna cut your flowers off, so don't do that. Let's see if we can go through two pieces. Oh, and we do, so that's good. This is a sharp, I got a sharp uh, cutter on here a blade. So I was just cracking up so bad at the weather yesterday and it was so gorgeous. I really wanted to be off work and playing outside. And I'm worried though that uh, Mother Nature is going to confuse all the plants and they're going to all start blooming because that's what happened last year. I think in February we had a week of really warm weather and everything started blooming. And Oops, there we go. All right, so there's all of these cut. So they're five and a quarter by four. I'm just gonna do two of these because I don't need the, I know I don't need all of them. And I think I'm gonna cut, um, I don't know if I cut the top or the bottom. I think I cut the top. So we'll do that at five and a quarter again. And Oops, it didn't go all the way through. Let's try it one more time. Maybe I should go back and forth. There we go. All right. And then four inches. But it is so nice. I want to go out and work in my yard, but um, it's kind of wet. We've had a lot of rain lately, so the ground is kind of wet. Uh-oh, I just went crooked on that one just a little bit. Okay, so there we go. So we've got all of these. I think I did that a little crooked. Let's trim that up a little bit. You can see just where it went crooked at the end. And it's still crooked. <laughs> And I don't have my glasses on. Oh, I went to the eye doctors and the eye doctor said, you know, my vision's gotten a little bit worse, but not a ton. And uh, the doctor said, well, I'm starting to get cataracts. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? Let's 
So he said I have like 10% cataracts right now, which kind of sucks. <laughs> but he said there's nothing you can do really to, unless get, get cataract surgery, but they don't let you qualify for that unless you have like 30 to 40% cataracts and you can't see really good. Um, okay, let's see. You guys still on here? Your forsythia already bloomed in December. What? That's crazy. Oh, hey, Peggy. First time getting on here live. Wow. Okay. All right, so this is the first card we're going to make. This is part of the original kit. So these three right here are your original cards that come in the kit. So we're going to do those first. So this one, you need a piece of white, except I did change it because I, the kit uses the whole card instead of the, um, just the front. All right, so the inside, I did stamp almost exactly the same for all of them. Some of them I put um, these little flowers, and then some of them I put a different flower. So we'll do some of each. All right, so for the inside, just stamp um, this a couple times like that. So you got your little flowers on the inside and we'll just set that over here. Okay. All right. And then for the front, we're going to grab one of these ones with the flowers and put that down. We need one of these word ones. Wishing you all the best. So we're going to stamp that. Whoops. And this is Pebbled Path Ink and balmy blue. Those are the two ink colors that you need. So we're just going to stamp this right in the middle and hope it's straight. There we go. And then we're going to glue this down with some regular green glue. This one's almost empty. Uh. <laughs> okay. We had such a fun night at work last night. It was not too busy because everybody was out enjoying the weather and probably having a cookout or something because it was just so beautiful. And actually today is really beautiful. It's um, high of 65 today and I lost my, um, whatchamacallits, dimensionals. Okay, where did they go? Hold up. Oh, I found some. Okay, here we go. All right, so dimensionals on the back of this. And these cards come together so fast, especially if you cut everything ahead of time. So I'll take this off. And put that up here. And then you need one flower of the yellow one and one of the gold ones. So let's get our flowers out. So there are three different sizes on here. You've got the curvy ones like this, and these just pop right out. So we've got these curvy ones, two of those on each one, and then you have a large one, a medium, and a small one. So, oops, don't mess them up. So I'm gonna take the medium one and save the small one here. And then we need a gold one. And I thought there was six of those, but I guess there's only three. Okay, so the little one I put down here, just kind of taped it to the, um, the top here. I mean, glued it. Just put a little bit of glue and then just kind of put it right there in the corner. And if you want to put just a little dab of glue on this one, you can, but you don't need to. And then I put this one, I put a dimensional on the side. So I just put this one kind of hanging off. So the dimensional is going to go right on that edge right there. And then if you want to put a little bit of glue right there, you can. And then just kind of put it hanging off the side like that. So they kind of overlap each other. And if you want to put a little bit of glue, just to tack that down. You can. Um, but you don't have to. But that'll help it stay there. All right, then we'll put a couple gems on here. 
and I love these gems. They're so cute. See how pretty they are? You can't really tell that they're blue unless you put them on top of white, but they're gorgeous. So we're just going to grab a couple and put them here. And I did try to use um, shimmer spray on these cards, but the problem is this gold around the edge here, when I sprayed the shimmer spray, it kind of messed up that gold. So we're not going to be spraying these today with shimmer spray. All right. So there's card one. Beautiful. Easy. Love it. All righty. And then next card is this one. So let me see. Do we have any? Your hostas are confused. Dang. Now nothing of mine has come up. Diane's. Oh, your daffodils coming up. Crazy. Okay, so for this one, we need one of these blue ones. I didn't cut these in half because this was just plain, but I am using the back of one of them, so I am going to cut one of them up. We need a round circle, and then we need two of the curvy ones. So here's one curvy and two curvies, and that's all you need for those. And we're going to stamp um, Hello Friend. And this is the easiest card in this whole bunch. So hello friend right in the middle. And we're gonna pop that down. Um, did I do it flat? I did it flat, okay. Cause I popped up the flowers. So that just goes flat right in the middle. And then I'm gonna stamp my little flowers on here in the middle and you know I always like to do double stamping for everything that I do so that you get kind of the dark and the light um, all right and then we're gonna put these on with dimensionals so let's just stick some on the back up here so you need some of the little ones or else cut these in half so I'm going to use some little ones. There we go. Because some of these sections are too skinny for a big one. But if you have just the big ones, cut them in half and you can use that. So that should work. And just take these off. Oops. I don't know if any of y'all follow me on... Um, are friends with me on Facebook, but you know, I try to post like three or four funny things every day just to brighten your day, you know, and uh, <laughs> I found this one the other day and I posted, I think I posted it yesterday or the day before, and it says, no matter how bad the situation, I can always find some way to make a little jokey joke. <laughs> I thought that was just perfect for me because that. That's what I do, like no matter what's going on, I mean, unless it's like something really serious, I can always just make some kind of joke out of it to lighten the mood a little bit. All right, so this one will go down here. So there you go, and then we're gonna stick a couple gems. So see how easy these cards come together? So I'm gonna put one big one right here, and then a couple little ones on the flowers. So there you go. So there's that one. So these are super simple. So that is another one. And this is the last one that comes in the kit. So for this one, you need a white piece. And in the kit, if you just do it like it is, they did not cut the blue piece in half. They used the whole thing. But see, you can get twice as many cards if you cut them in half. So we need that one. We need one with just the clouds and then we need oh one of these gold ones which I need to cut and where is it here we go so I cut that down so if you don't cut it down it's gonna be the same size so I cut it down and I didn't put the measurements in there let's see I think I cut it a quarter of an inch no half an inch smaller so this is five and a quarter by four. So we're gonna cut a half an inch off. But I want it to be even, so let's cut a quarter of an inch off of each side. 
turn it around. Oops. All right, so we cut that down and then we're gonna cut half an inch off the bottom. So it, like that. All right, I think I cut more than that though. Maybe a little teeny bit. No, that's right. Okay, so just cut a half an inch total off of each side, a quarter off of each edge, and and we'll save that because you can put your words on that one. So we'll just save that one for later. Okay, and then we need our banner piece. And what else? A big flower. And that's it. Okay, so we're just going to glue this down like this. It makes it so much easier if you just got your pile ready to go. So if you were making this kit exactly how it is, you'd make three of each of these, except don't cut your pieces in half because that's the way that it comes. But I like it better not wasting that back because nobody sees it anyway. Nobody really looks at the back of your card. All right, and then this is gonna go right here in the middle, but I'm gonna put it on dimensionals. Let's go ahead and stamp that one. So we're using Pebbled Path to stamp this right in the middle. And the good thing is these are clear so you can see right through them. So this is gonna go on with dimensionals and this flower is gonna go on with dimensionals. Oh, Patricia says, I love how you make room in your freezer. So that, I posted that yesterday and I said, um, I can't even remember what it said. Like, I'm making room in my freezer sounds better than I just finished off the last five pints of ice cream or something like that. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put two on here. All right, so these go down in the middle. Right there. And then this one, I'm just gonna put dimensionals on the edge because it's gonna go across that. So you don't wanna have anything right in the middle. So just put your dimensionals on the edges there. So we'll put two over here and two on the other end and leave the middle open so it doesn't get on top of that. And, oops. Yes, I always try to make people laugh, so. That's kind of my like signature thing. And then, then just put this down. So if you ever are having a bad day, just come on over to my Facebook page and just read some of the posts and you should start laughing. All right, and then we want to stamp the inside with our little flower. And same thing, just stamp it a few times, twice. Like that. If you want to put some more, you can. There you go. Perfect. All right. So then gems. We've got to do the gems. That just makes this card. So I'm going to put a big one there and a big one on the words. And then I did a little one on this one right here. Okay. So there you go. All right, so those are the three cards that come in the kit. So the rest of them are the ones that I made up. So here's your other one. So there you go. All right, so now we're going to start with mine. Oh, oh, let's do the box real quick, too. We'll do that real fast. All right, so for the box, you just put it together. Like that. Voila, there's your box. And then you take your belly band, open it up, fold it on your little sides, wrap it around. And then what I did was I just glued it to itself. So right here, just lift that up and put some glue right there. And then 
press that down for a minute. Okay, so there's your belly band. And then we've got our, um, where did my box go? <laughs> I lost it now. Okay, here's the box. All right, and then we just need a little flower. So we're gonna take one of the little ones, this little teeny one, and put uh, glue dots on the back. So just grab a couple glue dots. And these boxes are so cute. So I put one right there. And I'm just gonna kinda curl one up a little bit. Put it on that stem right there. And then that goes right here. All right, so there's your box. So you can stick your cards in the box. Okay, so now card four. So we've done cards one, two, and three are the ones that come in the kit with the directions, except the only thing I did was I changed the whole fold into, um, I cut it in half. So you just have the front. So, <clears throat> oh, oh, hey, Bill, how are you? Ended up, what time is it there? Oh, it's late there, isn't it? Like six, you're about six hours ahead of me, I think. Ended up making 18 cards out of the kid kit. Cut all the card bases in half. Yes, see, that's a good idea. I didn't do the blue ones in half, but the other ones I did. All right, so for this one, you need one of these pieces, a piece of white, and, oops, we got our white, we need a banner, and we need a big flower, and, And then let me show you what I did for this one behind it. You can use just this one if you want to. Um, let's just do that. We'll do that. But what I did was on some of these curvy ones, I cut um, this apart. So I took it and I cut it right here and made extra flowers. So I just kind of went in here like this and cut it like that. So then you have this piece and then you have this one and just trim this up a little bit. So then you have some more of the little flowers. So you can use um, this one on here if you want to or this one, it doesn't matter. So you can do that with a couple of your, because you get a lot of those flowers. All right, now for this one, we want the hello to come off the page like this. So I'm going to, you can use your paper trimmer if you want, or just uh, kind of eyeball it. I'm going to stamp it first, though. So we're going to have hello over on this end. And then let's fold this in half. And then we want it to come off of the edge, whoops, like this. So I just kind of eyeballed it. If you want to use your paper trimmer and make sure it's super straight, you can. But I just kind of went like that, eyeballed it, and then snipped it off. Because I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. And if you want to save that piece for something, you can put little words on that if you have some more words to use. So I'm gonna put this on the top. Keep losing my dimensionals. There we go. So um, if you came in late, I was talking about, this is the paper pumpkin kit from last month and they have really like upped the game with the last couple paper pumpkins. So if you have not subscribed to paper pumpkin, now's a good time to get a three month subscription because if you get a three month subscription for like 60 something dollars, you get a free paper pumpkin kit. I'm gonna glue this down. I mean, not free paper pumpkin, a free celebration item for just signing up. 
So it's a great, great time to do it. And then you can always buy the refill kits, which is what I did because I just had a class on this last week. So I bought like um, 12 extra kits to have class. And the refill kits are um, a lot cheaper too. Okay, so I cut off the bottom of this. I should have done that before I did that. Let's just snip off a little bit of this. So we're gonna put that down on the bottom like that. And we want this one to kind of go underneath. Whoops, like that. So this one, I did pop these up, well, pop that up on dimensionals with just one. And then I popped this one up, the whole thing. So maybe put a couple little ones on there too. Okay, so I subscribed to this meal thing called Every every plate. I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried it, but you know, there was a good deal going on. So I said, I'm just going to sign up and you know, they send you like the whole kit of stuff to make, um, however many meals you want. And I'm by myself. So I just got like, you know, three, three different ones, but it makes enough for two people. So now we're just going to tuck under there like that. And there you go. Um, so I got it the other night <laughs> and I didn't feel like cooking because it was like six o'clock already. And I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like cooking this. So I haven't tried it yet, but it comes with like all the stuff and you still got to cook it. And then I'm like, I don't even know why I ordered this because I don't really love cooking too much. And, uh, I am going to make one today though, but I got like two pasta things and, um, a chicken dish and a couple other things. And there you go. So there, oh, we forgot to stamp the inside. So I'm going to take a different flower this time. So this is another flower that comes in it. And we're just going to stamp this one. And just do that. All right. So there's the inside. So that's card four. If you want to take a picture of that. So the first three were in the kit. These are just my creations. So that's that one. All right, card five. Here we go. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever tried those kits. The best one I tried was called Factor. Um, it is really expensive, but they had a deal for like the first few boxes. But those are nice because they're already ready. And then all you gotta do is put it in the microwave and heat it up. But they were some, that were good meals. I don't know if you guys have that like in the UK or anything or other countries, but we have it here. All right, we need a cloud piece. We need a circle piece. And now see how this is just a half of one? That's the other half of the one that I just cut out. So we're just gonna use that, that I just cut that other flower off of. So there you go. So once you cut the flower off, you can do other stuff with it. All right, now see the bow? I'm gonna show you how to do that in a sec. So let's go ahead and glue this down. But see, I'm so lazy. I would just eat a sandwich or ice cream or cereal for dinner every night because I don't like to cook for just myself. And if I do cook for myself, I usually have so much extra that I have to eat leftovers of the same thing for like five nights. All right, we're gonna take our little flower and or let's do the words first. So I did all the best. So you wanna stamp that kind of near the top. And then we're gonna take our little flower and we're gonna stamp that down here on the bottom. So let me get my ink pad closer. So I just took that and stamped it all along the bottom here. Like that. Isn't that cute? And then stamp some of those on the inside. Okay. So there's the inside. So 
So we're done with that. I'm just gonna leave that open. All right, so this goes on with dimensionals right in the middle. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the ribbon, which is a fun little technique with this gold ribbon. So is anybody, oh, making breakfast for your husband, Joan. You know what I had for breakfast? A protein shake because this is a sad thing. So at work, we have new uniforms we're supposed to wear. So we had to order them back in like April. And because uh, now where I work, they want us to all have, we normally wear scrubs, but they want us to all have like the same color scrubs with, you know, the name of our company on it and stuff. So we had to order them and they're, the bad thing is they're unisex, which I hate because my body is not unisex. My body is totally a woman's body. It is not like straight up hips with no butt and no stomach. So, you know, I ordered my regular size. So the pants come, I try them on. There's no room for your butt. It's basically for a man that has no butt and there's no room for your stomach because I guess men usually wear their um, pants, you know, under their stomachs. So we're just gonna put a little glue on this. So I tried them on and I'm like, oh no, these are not gonna work. <laughs> so <laughs> The bad thing is they fit in the legs, but they don't fit in the stomach and the butt. So, and then the waist. So I have like a stomach and kind of a big butt and then my waist comes in so they're too big in the waist, but too small in the other areas. So they look terrible. And I like to wear my pants above my waist, which um, doesn't work with these pants. And then I put on the top and the top is huge and it looks terrible. And I'm like, this really stinks because I, my scrubs are really cute. And they're, you know, they're flattering. They're, they're not these ugly ones that we just had to order. But anyway, I put on a few pounds since we ordered them too. So they really, really don't fit at all. So I'm gonna have to set them back and get different sizes or something, but I'm really upset. Everybody's upset at work because nobody likes them, except the men, of course, because they're made for men. But why they only have unisex scrubs for us, I don't know. So there you go. All right, so now for the ribbon. So I'm taking, this is our gold, what is it called? Gold satin edged ribbon. And this is in the big catalog, I think. So I just cut a piece. I kind of just go like this to make a bow and, whoops, measure it like that. So, okay, that's gonna make a bow. So I cut that amount. I don't know how long it is. Then I'm gonna cut right up the middle we're gonna actually get two out of this. So, you know how I always talk about eating ice cream and, and uh, how bad, I, I'm, I really am not very good at eating healthy. I mean, I do eat healthy stuff, but I also like my sweets. So, I think I was talking about the monkey bread the other day when I got those cinnamon rolls out and made monkey bread and I ended up eating the whole thing. So somebody put a comment on my um, channel. They said, um, I don't know how you eat all that and not weigh 200 pounds. <laughs> I started laughing and I said, I do weigh over 200 pounds. I just don't look like it. <laughs> no. Actually, I, I'm overweight. I know I am. But... The good thing is, like, you know, I get all my blood work done, and I'm pretty healthy, but uh, I do need to lose weight. So I am going to try and lose weight because I got the Stampin' Up! trip coming up in April. So I want to lose weight because I got to put my bathing suit on in front of everybody. All right, so you're going to make a bow with this, like that. And then what you're going to do is take the gold. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see. Um, you're going to take your fingernails or you can take the, take your pick tool and you're just going to pull this apart. Let me do it at the end. You're going to pull these threads apart. So then you get that 
and do it on the other side. So now you have all these little gold threads coming out and then do it on your loops too. So, but you know, I've dieted my whole life off and on. I Believe it or not, I used to be skinny when I was younger. And it was so funny because my sister growing up, she was always chubby, like always. And then um, I was always the skinny one and she was always the chubby one. And then I didn't start gaining weight until I went to college. And then, um, you know, started eating pizza on the weekends all the time and going out and we'd, you know, have drinks and things like that. And that's when I started putting some weight on. But my sister, she kind of did the opposite. She was overweight her whole life. And then she got to high school and she had um, like eating disorder because she became very self-conscious of her weight in high school. And then she lost a ton of weight, but she did it the wrong way. And, um, you know, she's been like that her whole life. She's had kind of an eating disorder her whole life. So now she's obsessed with her weight. She only weighs like 95 pounds. And um, she's obsessed with exercising and healthy eating and all this stuff. And she does, she exercises like five hours a day. She's totally the opposite of me. I used to be the one that exercised all the time and, and ate healthy. But then I got out of that. All right, so there is your card. So isn't that pretty? I love these little gold threads. But anyway, I've gained and lost my weight probably 25 times. And every time I lose it, I gain it back plus another 10 or 15 to go with it. So I know a lot of you guys can relate to that. And I kind of decided I'm tired of dieting all the time. So and when you get my age, it's harder to lose it. So. All right, so there, that is card, what are we on, five? Yeah, five. All right, so card six uses the other half of that ribbon. So we're gonna make another one of those bows. So this one you need white, piece of white cardstock, another piece of the flowery stuff, the one with the little flowers at the bottom. You need two banners, and I don't think, I didn't put words on this. Oh, maybe I did it. Did I put some inside? No. Okay, two banners, big flower, and uh, what else? A small flower. Oh, you know what I did? I think I took the other half of the one I cut. Let me find that one. Here we go. I think I took this one and stuck it under there. And then we need our bow. Okay, so we're gonna do this bow again. Make another one of these, not me read some comment. Oh, hey, Anya. Just got back from visiting your father. Oh, Stephanie, you're making sourdough bread. That sounds yummy. Love these cards, thank you. Hey Sherry, you can relate. Yes, I think so. Deborah's tried the factory meals, they were good. Yes, they are really good. I would get them again, but um, I have no room in my freezer because <laughs> I really didn't clean my freezer out. <laughs> and they, they don't come frozen, they come fresh, but I can never eat all of them at in like it in one week. So I always end up having to freeze it. I eat a lot of lean cuisines too. All right, so we made our little bow and then we're just gonna pull this apart. And get these threads. I have a funny joke for y'all today, but I'm, I'm worried I already told it because you know now I'm getting to the point where I've told so many jokes I can't remember which ones I've told. Because I tell them at work, too, all the time. And I can't remember which ones I've told you guys and which ones I've told at work. So, hopefully, it's not a duplicate. I don't think it is, but 
I know I've told it before, but I think I told it at work. All right, so here's our bow again. And we're just gonna cut a little bit of that off, make it shorter. All right, so now let's put this together. So we've got the bottom part. I don't know if I stamped the inside of that last card. I think I might've forgot. Put that down. I love, love, love these card fronts. This just makes the prettiest card. You don't have to hardly do anything. So then these two, I'm just gluing down like this, just one right on top of the other one. So anybody got any exciting plans for the weekend? I don't know what I'm gonna do besides stamping. All right, so here we go. So just make sure those are pretty even on both edges and they're overlapping like that. All right, so then we've got our big flower right in the middle, which I'm gonna pop up and then I kind of tucked this one underneath and that one's flat. So let's do this one first. Oops. Oh, gonna make German potato salad. That's the one that's kind of like vinegary, isn't it? Instead of mayonnaise, it's like vinegar. I don't know if I'm too crazy about that kind. You know, I used to see that all the time was at Bush Gardens. It's so funny, when I was growing up, Bush Gardens opened, and if any of you guys are in Virginia, you know what I'm talking about. They also have one in Florida, but there's the different countries you go to. You know, there's Italy, France, Germany, all that stuff, and they have all the foods of those countries there. And so in the Fest House is where the German food was, and they had all these German things in the German potato salad, and I tried it one time. It just tasted so funny to me, because I'm like, I like potato salad with mayonnaise and like hard-boiled eggs and all that stuff in there, so I'm not a fan of the vinegary kind. All right, we want to tuck this down under here, like so, and just glue it down. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the top part and tuck it under there. And try not to get it on anything before I do that. There we go. Okay, so I didn't do any words. If you wanna stamp words on the inside, we can do that. Let's go ahead and put, um, let's see. Wishing you all the best, we'll put on the inside. I have a lot of my um, customers that they don't like to stamp the words on the cards we make until they need one. And then when they need like a sympathy card or birthday card or whatever, they'll go ahead and stamp for whatever they need, which is a good idea. So how many of you like German potato salad and how many of you guys like the uh, American potato salad? I guess the mayonnaise kind. I am a mayonnaise girl. I have a friend at work. She doesn't eat anything that has white condiments in it. So no mayonnaise, no sour cream, no nothing. Anything that's white condiments, she won't touch. All right, we need some gems on here. So I'm gonna put a big one. And I said, I don't know how you do that. She doesn't eat ketchup either. I said, that's just weird. <laughs> I can't eat some things with that, like a hamburger. I have to have ketchup and mayonnaise. And we'll do another little one. I'm a condiment person. Like when I have salad, I want a lot of salad dressing. And and I like my french fries in honey mustard. I don't know if that anybody else eats honey mustard, but I like instead of ketchup, I like honey mustard. Oops. Okay. And then we got to stamp the inside with our little flower. So I'm going to do this bigger one on this one. Now I've got to come up with my next kit. Anybody have any request for kit? I always have a hard time deciding what to do for my kits. All right, so there you go. So that is card six. So we are at, oh, it's almost 11 o'clock. You know what? I wonder if we should just go ahead and stop. All right, so there's six. We still have five more to go. Should we stop or go ahead and do all the rest? 
<laughs> what do you guys think? We've been on here an hour. Oh, Vicky says, I like both, but mayo style better. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise, mayonnaise and mustard. Yeah, I don't like mustard too much except honey mustard. Love the bling. Deborah, you're gonna finish your paper pumpkin kits this weekend. I know, I just got the um, lavender one. That's so, so pretty. Oh, Anya says they have different ways to make potato salad. It's different from Northheim to South Germany. I've only seen one kind of German potato salad, and that was with the like vinegar base. And I think it was served hot, like not cold, which is another um, difference. All right, so this is the next one. I've got five left, so actually, wait a minute. Yeah, five left. You guys want to wait till next time keep making i'll have a seven cup coffee <laughs> keep going <laughs> all right how many of you guys want to stick around because we've been on here an hour already we still have a few more to go so we were only halfway done i don't know if i want to stay on here for another while brother in laws from germany uh, where says, are you going to do an alternatives for the January? Yes, I am, but it might take me a while. All right, we'll just keep going. So this can be a long video. This is card number seven. So I used another one of these gold ones and um, a whole piece of the blue. So we've got a whole one of these. And then I cut down the gold one to four and a quarter by three and a half. Okay, so four and a quarter by three and a half. So I just took a little bit off of each side, I think. So you want to make sure, since this is centered, you want to make sure you cut the same amount off of each side, not just off of one side. So it is a little bit less than four inches. So we're going to cut a little bit off of each side. <gasps> I just went totally crooked. Let's do it the other way. There we go. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> you should always pull this towards you. <laughs> towards the edge, I mean. All right, so that's straight. So that goes on there. You don't want to waste any of these suckers. All right, and then I put the gold ribbon. I just wrapped around here. So we're just gonna wrap it around, kind of like about inch and a half up from the bottom and put it over to this side and tie a knot. Okay, and then just snip that. And we still got to do the jokes. Well, joke. I've got a joke. We're going to really run out of time today. You sure you got, guys want to keep on going? <laughs> Please tell the joke. <laughs> okay. i tell you what. I'll tell the joke now. So then if you need to go, you can hold on. All right. Here's the joke. All right. I, I hope I haven't told this one before. All right. A man phones his wife and asks her, Honey, I've been asked to go fishing with my boss for the week. This is a good opportunity for me to get the promotion. So could you please pack enough clothes for a week, set out my rod and fishing box. We're leaving from the office and I'll swing by the house to pick up my things. Oh, and can you please pack my new blue silk pajamas? The wife noticed that there was something fishy in her husband's story, but since she was a good wife, she listened to her husband and did exactly as he told her. After a week, the husband returned home looking a bit tired, but happy to have a have done a good job. The wife immediately started asking about the weekend, how it was, if he'd caught fish, and so on. The husband said, yes, we caught lots of salmon, bluegill, and a few swordfish, but why didn't you pack my blue silk pajamas? To which the, right, the wife responded, I did. They were in your fishing box. <laughs> so we know what the husband was doing. <laughs> he was not fishing. All right, so there's your joke, but I'll tell another one at the end. 
All right, so we're gonna glue this down. And um, I did this little friend off that little scrap that I had here. Whoops. So I'm just gonna use that scrap and um, stamp friend and then cut it out. My glue is running low. All right, so here we go. Oh, you can see I did a little bit of crooked right there. Oh, well. Oh. All right, so we're gonna stamp our words on this piece. And so let me put some scrap paper down here. Because I don't want the whole thing. So I just want friend on there. So we're gonna cut that out. And try to get it straight. You're just cutting as straight as you can get around the word. So there we go. So now there's our friend and I'm just gonna dip it because you know I love to do that. You gotta be careful though because it's so little. I probably should use some tweezers. And <laughs> try not to get my fingers in this ink pad. All right, so there we go. So that's our friend. And then we also need, we can save this for another word later. Let me clean up some of these. I have so much trash. Okay. So we're gonna do um, a friend on little teeny dimensionals. And get a couple of flowers. I love these little teeny ones. All right, so for this one, I took, um, I think I cut another one of these up and a little teeny tiny one. I'm running out of my flowers. Okay, we've got one here, one here, one there. Okay, so we need a regular one and we need a this one. So we're just gonna cut this again around our um, curvy one. And leave the, I think, oh, you know what? Actually, I cut this all the way off. So I have the leaf too. So there you go. All right, so we've got this one and then this one. So I think I put them on just like that. So this one goes flat. I think I need a new bottle of glue. All right, we're gonna tuck it under here right there and then I put this one kind of like popped up right there so we'll just put one dimensional on that one and put it right here and then I just put the words right on top of that See, we should have stopped because this is gonna take too much time I still got four more to go I think I'm gonna stop <laughs> We've already been on here an hour. Okay, and then put the friend right there on top. And then we're gonna do some gems. So I've got one for the middle and then a big one for the one up here and then another little one down here. And then let's go ahead and stamp the inside with the flowers. There we go. I love these little flowers. Okay, so that is card number seven. So we still have four more to go. All right, let me read some comments too. Let me see. Uh, cute joke, oh, thank you. Were they fishing up on Brokeback Mountain? <laughs> Bill, you're funny. <laughs> By the way, French fries with mayo. Huh. I 
I've never heard of French fries with mayonnaise. Maybe ranch dressing. Oh, I don't know if I could do mayonnaise with French fries. Need to go get my friends, friends some breakfast. Thank you, Stella. Favorite pumpkin. Oh, thank you, Belinda. Don't stop because then I'll have to clean. <laughs> You're funny. Well, we still have four to go, and these are harder because I got to cut the envelopes and stuff. But I'll keep going because I love you guys. All right, so that's seven. All right, here's eight. So this one's an easy one. So we're going to cut an envelope up for this one because we're going to be using this piece and this piece. So let's cut. Oh, all right. I don't know the measurements. What did I do? Envelope. The flower is two by four. The flap is one and three quarters by five. Let me take that out. Okay, so I cut the flap off. So I just took it and cut it like right on the inside of the line like that. And then I cut the straight part and it came out to about that. Um, let's see, we wanted it at, what was it? The flap, one and three quarters by five. So one and three quarters. You think I would have learned my lesson about going the wrong direction on this thing, but I did it by five. So there we go. Okay, that comes out. We need a little teeny bit more off of there, I think. Just a teensy bit, because we don't want that curvy part. So now it's all the way rectangle. So there's our blue part. And then we want to cut off this flower two by four. So we want it at two inches. So we're gonna go ahead, let me see. Let's just cut this down here. Two inches there. Did I do it too? It looks bigger than two inches, hold on. I think it's bigger than that. I think I wrote the wrong measurements down. And I don't have my ruler here. Hold on, let's just measure. Mm -mm. All right, it's actually two and a half inches, so let me change that. Two and a half inches by four. Okay, so we're gonna go to two and a half and then cut. And by four, oh, that's gonna cut off the top, won't it? No, we're gonna cut off, mm, yeah, okay. I know I didn't. I must have written down the totally wrong directions. Oh, I did cut off some of the bottom. Never mind. Okay. So just cut a teensy bit off the bottom. And then you've got this. And then if you look on the back, you still have the rest of this envelope. <laughs> so we're just going to snip that off real quick. All right. So there we go. All right, so here's our two pieces that we need. So this is two and a half by four. This is one and three quarters by a little bit less than five. Okay, and you could change those measurements to whatever you want, but and then you've got your envelope. You don't need that, so we'll throw it away. Okay, so then we need a piece of white and a circle and one of the curvy flowers. So curvy flower and a circle. Okay, so here's everything you need. So we're gonna glue that down first. So this goes down first. Towards the end, I was running out of stuff to use. You know, you start running out of your supplies, so you gotta get more creative. So kind of center that over here. And then we're gonna put this one kind of centered in there. And these are both flat. Like that. Okay, and then we're gonna stamp Hello Friend on our circle. 
And I'm going to do it in the top right corner because I want to have room to do my flowers. We're going to do some flowers over here on the right side. So we're just stamp on and off like that. And that should be good. All right, so there's our flowers. And then I put that on with dimensionals uh, like that. Oops, this is card eight. I should have just gone ahead and done the inside while I had that little flower. This is like the longest video I've ever done. <laughs> I'm running out of things to talk about. I love this little flower. It's so cute. Okay, so there we go. Take these off. Got some really cute ones coming up. All right, so here's all of our dimensionals off. Make sure you get that hello straight. And then we're gonna just glue this down straight with no dimensionals. And it's kind of hanging off just a little bit. All right, and then we need some gems. Okay, thank you guys for sticking with me all this time. Do we have a lot of people? I can't even see how many people are watching. Um, oh, don't forget to do thumbs up too if you're watching and um, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff for me. And I'm gonna use four on this one. So there we go. Uh, that's card eight. So there you go. So eight down. Let me see, three more to go. So here's the next one. All right, so this one, I cut apart another curvy one. So we're gonna take, and this one, I didn't do the leaf. So we'll just cut off this one because you run out of those little flowers if you don't use some of these curvy ones for spares. So that's where I get these extra. So we'll take that over there, cut this down a little bit. And so we need that one and that one. We need a white piece. And one of our half sheets with the flowers at the bottom one of these and a bow. So I did the linen thread double bow, which um, I've showed you guys a million times, but I'll show you again. So you just take some linen thread and what I do is I do my fake little bow like this. So I go, okay, so that's enough for one and then I double it and then cut that in half and try not to get the curls out of it because I really like the curly part. So you don't want to mess with it too much. And then just make your little bow like that. And then just pull it together. So there's your little bow for that. All right, so we're gonna stamp Hello Friend again. This is my favorite one, Hello Friend. That goes in the bottom, like that. And then we're gonna glue this down. We're gonna pop this one up on dimensionals. And you know, there are so many videos I saw of um, alternatives for this kit and uh, but I didn't really want to copy anybody else's ideas. So these are all my ideas, but there's plenty of other videos out there. If you have a kit or two, I ordered three originally because I knew I was going to love this kit. So stamp it up. Uh-oh. <gasps> I just got ink on there. 
Dang it. Right on my fingertip, too. Oh, well. We'll have to fix that somehow. All right, so then you're going to take your flowers, and we're going to glue one flat down here in the corner. And... So Stampin' Up! has gotten a lot better about showing sneak peeks of what the kits are going to look like. So you kind of know ahead of time if it's going to be like a really good one or not. So when I saw the sneak peek of this one, I was like, oh yeah, that is totally me. So that's why I ordered extras. All right, and then this one's going to kind of go, you don't want to cover your words up. Let me see. There we go. Like that. All right, and then put a little bit of glue just to hold that down. Not put too much. Okay. And then a glue dot for the bow. And you could, of course, use like the white. If you have the white baker's twine, that would also work. Or um, there's a lot of ribbons that would go with this. I'm just going to cut this a teensy bit. There you go. All right, and then we're gonna put, I probably should have put that a little bit more curvy, but that's okay. We'll put some gems up here. And why am I using my scissors? I don't know. <laughs> I've got my take your pick tool right next to me, but oops. I don't know why I just grabbed my scissors. You get a ton of these gems too. So you can make a lot. Okay, so there's that one. We've got two more to go. So that is card number nine. So there you go. If you want to take a picture of that one. Love it. I like this one better because I put the flower farther over. Okay, so there we go with that one. One more after this one. All right, so this one, I cut the envelope again. So we're going to get another envelope. And I put the measurements in here, I hope. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so for this one, I only used this part. I didn't use that part. So let's cut that. All right. And I said the blue. Oh, you know what we did? We cut one of these. So I did cut that part too. The flower is one and three quarters by four. So we're going to do, oops, one and three quarters. By four. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. I just cut, I meant to cut that off first. Dang it. Okay. That's all right. By four. Okay. So we're going to cut a little bit off the top. And you have that little piece. I just wasted it. <laughs> and four. So next time, cut the blue off first where the flap is, and then you could either leave this like this or cut it off. I'm just going to cut it off right on the inside of that. All right, so there's my flower, and then I took the blue piece here. I cut this off. I need to clean this out. All right, we're going to cut it a little bit less than... Well, I did it by four. Let's just go ahead and do four. All right. So there's four. So it's four by five and a half right now. So I need two inches. So we'll do two. And then save the rest for later. So now we've got that. Okay. So there's that. Put that back inside. All right, so there's that piece, and then I've got my this, and I stamped the Hello Friend again. <gasps> I just dropped that right in the ink pad. I'm going to have to wipe it off. <laughs> what a mess. Hopefully, I don't get that on my fingers. I did. Okay, Lisa's having a messy day today. All right, wipe all that off. So now we're going to do Hello Friend here. Um, all the way to the left, and we want it about halfway. Okay, so there's my hello friend. Then I'm going to stamp those blue flowers again on the bottom. I don't know.
know if I remembered to stamp the inside of my last card. If not, I'll go back and, oops. <laughs> right next to my ink pad, I have my um, mouse to my computer and I just tapped this onto the mouse. So I have this right next to my ink pad and I just went like that. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I just amaze myself at how goofy I am. All right, so we've got our white piece. I still have ink on my fingers, dang it. All right, we'll get another one. There we go. Make sure you keep a wipe next to your desk so you don't mess up your cards. Look, I still got another piece. All right, and we need a piece with the flowers on the bottom. So that's gonna go down first. See how easy these cards are? They just come together so, so fast. This is gonna be glued down straight with no, um, I'm making a mess. No dimensionals and put it like about halfway ish. So I've just got a little bit of an edge over here. Not much. Oh, I just got more ink on there. Where is this coming from? Okay. You guys do that. You get ink on your fingers and mess your whole card up. Now this is the same length as the blue piece, so it's gonna hang down lower, but that's totally fine. And then this goes on with dimensionals. All right. Yeah, paper pumpkin is hit and miss, Brooke. I, I totally agree. Some months I see it and I'm like, yeah, I don't like that at all. So I just, I, you can skip a month anytime if you're a subscriber. You can just skip a month whenever you want. So if I see one that's like, Kind of cutesy-ish. You guys know that's not my thing. I'm not a cutesy stamper. So I skip it. But if it's like a floral one that I think is going to be awesome, I order extras. So put that down. Make sure you got it straight. And there you go. All right, and then I've got another bow already done. So I'm just going to stick that down with a glue dot. And I'm just going to save time because we're running so long and I'm not going to stamp the inside right this minute. I'll do that later because you guys know how to do that. And then got a couple gems on here. So we've got a big one for the flower. Oops, you know what? I didn't do that that one. Well, that's weird because I've been putting them on the back. I mean, on each flower. The whole time and we're going to cover that mess up right there so my friend colleen says um a mistake is a perfect opportunity for an embellishment so that's what we're doing so if you make a mistake cover it with a gem and there's that one i think i want to add one on this one too because it needs one i love that in the center of the flowers all right so that is card number 10 there you go, card number 10. So there you go, last card, woo hoo! Last card, yay, is this one. And all right, so this one I just made this morning. So we need our um, cloud piece. We need a piece of white and Decorating my mouse. Yes, Patricia, I am decorating my mouse. Luckily, it wasn't inked up yet, so it didn't get on there. <laughs> All right, we need this piece, which is from the um, gold. So you're going to take one of these golds, and we're going to cut it down again. So this one, did I put the measurements of the gold piece? Yes, gold. Uh, okay, so the white is two by three and three quarters. All right, so we're going to cut it to, I think I just cut it right in the middle first and then I trimmed it down. So let's just go right up between the flowers. And I kind of looked right down the thing. 
Let me get this over in the screen better. So when you look at it, I cut it right down the middle first so I could save this for another card later. I was gonna just see how many I could make, but I kind of ran out of time. So cut that down first, and then we're gonna cut it at two. So I'm gonna cut just a teeny bit off the other side. All right, so there's my two inches across, and it's three and three quarters this way. So there you go. Oops, you know what? I realized I cut more off the top on the other one. That's all right. Okay, so that's that part. And then the blue part, so I have this leftover from just a couple cards ago. So this was five and a half by four, and I cut it down a little bit. So we're going to cut a little bit more. So I want this four inches by two and a quarter. So two and a quarter. All right, so there's that. So these should fit perfect. And then, oh, you know what I did? I took this piece that was left over for my words. Ha! Ah, okay. I was like, where did I get that white piece? <laughs> I forgot. So this is left over. So that's where I got the words from. All right, so we're going to glue this together. Sometimes I just amaze myself. I made this card like two hours ago. And I already forgot. <laughs> Lisa's getting Alzheimer's now. Okay. Christmas break was late, so you played with this kit on your break. It was a lot of fun. It is. I know. Hand sanitizer works great for removing ink. Oh, that's a good idea. I don't have any sitting here with me, though. Okay. Oh, no. You know what I just realized? Okay. I forgot to stamp these flowers. We're gonna take a piece of scrap paper right under this, like that. And we're gonna stamp these flowers. So I just went all down the bottom, like that. I'll move this over here. And you don't want them all even, so do some high, some low. And there we go. So that looks pretty good. Let me put one more right there. Okay. All right. So there's our flowers on the bottom. And then, oops, I did a thousand wishes on here. And then I cut it down. So we're going to do it over to one side. So there you go. And then I cut it down. So we'll just take a piece of this. Cut. Actually, let me use my paper trimmer so I get it straight. That would be the smart thing to do. So we're just going to cut it down to, let's do three inches. And that'll work perfect. All right. And then we're going to dip this in the blue. My favorite thing is dipping these white. All right, so there we go. And, oh, let's do the, well, I'm not gonna do the inside because that'll take too much time because we're already at an hour and a half. I know you guys are probably tired of watching me now. So, <laughs> never, right? If you stick around to the end, I'll do another joke for you. Okay, there we go. And put that on the back with dimensionals. can't believe we made 11 cards today and this one so see how I did this one we've got this down here this is on dimensionals so we want to put just this side right here up on dimensionals so I'm just going to put a couple on this end here so this will be flat on this and just take these off and I still have a ton of stuff left to make more cards, but I'm kind of running low on the flowers. That's the only bad thing. All right, put that down. So this is going to go right across here like so. And then I tucked the other flower down under. I'm going to do that at the end. So this will go like here. Oops, I need to put some 
glue. And then just stick it down like that. All right, and then I only have one flower left. So I've got two of these curvy ones, and this is my last, I think, one. Okay, so we're just gonna tuck that down like that underneath and put a dimensional on the top. Well, I probably could just leave it flat. Uh, I don't know, let's put a dimensional and see what it looks like. And just tuck that under like so. All right, and then put some gems. So we'll do a little one for the flower, a big one for the other flower, and a big one for here. So we have a few gems left, and then there you go. No bow on this one. So we are done. Woo! Can you believe it? And I still have a few things left. So we've got a few pieces that we could still do and your envelopes if you want, but we're kind of out of the flowers almost. So there you go. So there's the last card and we're done. So let me tell you the other joke real fast. Let me find it. Oops. <laughs> And let me read some. Oh, tell us about your lunch date. Well, my lunch date is postponed till next weekend. So I think I'm just going to have to do next weekend's. Um, I already told you guys 10 o'clock, so I kept the 10 o'clock for today. But we're postponing till next weekend because um, he doesn't live here. He lives a little bit away, so he had to work today. Um, Okay. Oh, thank you guys. Don't forget to do thumbs up if you haven't done that yet. And um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff for me. Let me pull up another joke. Okay. Here's one. All right. The 90-year-old golfer. So a 90-year-old golfer tells his wife that he's quitting the game. But why, she asks. Well, it's my eyesight. I can't see where the ball goes after I hit it. The wife says, listen, you can go with my brother, Pete. He might be 103 years old, but his eyesight's perfect. He agrees and finds himself on the golf course with his brother-in-law. He takes aim, hits a powerful shot that speeds off like a jet. He looks at his brother-in-law and says, did you see that, Pete? His brother-in-law says, yes, I saw that perfectly. The golfer then says, well, where is it then? Pete says, I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so you got a two for jokes today and 11 cards. Oh, lay all the cards out. You want me to do that? Okay, here we go. I will lay all the cards out for you. I think on the um, cover, it's got all of them. So these are the three that came with the kit. So these directions are in your kit. And then these are the, the ones we made. So there's three more and then three more and there you go so there's all the cards so hopefully you got a screenshot as we went but i did take a screenshot of um them for the the video so if you just like look at the the video picture there oh hey beth i didn't even see you on here when did you get on here you snuck on real late Hey, Hilda. Hey, Robin. Never tired of watching you. You are so funny. Thank you. All right, you guys. So I am done. Finally, hour and a half. That was a long video. All right. So don't forget, if you want to order, this is your last chance to get that kit. This kit right here. So um, that's till the end of the month. So you only have four days left. And that's with a $50 order and that host code. And then we'll have a new kit next time. Send me a message if you have a specific request for some kind of kit that you want. I was thinking about doing another napkin card kit, but uh, I bought some really cute napkins at Hobby Lobby a couple days ago that I love. But if there's a stamp set you want or whatever, just send me an email. We'll see what gets the most votes. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Take care, and I'll be back Tuesday night for my next video. Thanks for joining me. Oh, Anya, you can't get paper pumpkins. Dang, that's a bummer.
Well, you guys should all write to, paper, to um, Stampin' Up and tell them you want Paper Pumpkin over there. That stinks. All right. Have a great weekend, you guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.